everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel with another video on Mecha Domination. So for today, I have a guide for you. Um, six things that I recommend that will help you take your attack and just your army in general and make it significantly better so that you can defeat much higher level things. So we're going to jump right into it. If you click the little mail thing on the right bottom corner here, it'll bring this up. And if you go to reports, you can find one where you hosted so not a rally you can go to say this one right here and you can see this is when i fought a level 27 venom thing so this is going to show the breakdown of my army so we'll scroll down here and it's going to show you a breakdown of all the bonuses all the multipliers that affect your troop stats this has nothing to do with troop level this is specifically the bonuses that you have you can see some of mine are pretty good some of mine are not so good there's areas where I need to really work on them. But the main point I'm bringing you here is if you click on one, like fighter attack here, it'll show you a breakdown of all the different bonuses you have so you can see where they come from, see what areas you're lacking in, and what you really need to focus on. So you can see here, between beast march and beast, beast skill, I've got about 120%. Uh, between personal tech and alliance tech, about 33%. And then uh, lots of zeros, and then about 43% from equipment. So that's the main stuff that I'm getting these bonuses from. So I'm going to be showing you these six things that I recommend that are going to improve your army a lot. So just for showing you this, though, it doesn't necessarily reflect in numbers. And what I mean by that is if I go to this here... We search for a level 27 Venom Fang. You can see it says suggested might 9.3 mil. My current one is 8.69. When I was fighting that, it was about 8.5. So that's almost, you know, that's 800,000 less than what it recommends. And we all know that even with the recommended, you can still lose sometimes. So it's not necessarily going to make it look like, oh, I've got the strongest, you know, numbers-wise march, but you're going to be able to defeat higher things. Now, jumping right into it, the first thing uh, you saw, the biggest thing I got my boost from was my actual beasts. If you're not going to be spending a lot of money, I, fo I recommend focusing on three beasts, um, one rider, one ranged, and one fighter. Because that's how your march is going to be broken down. So you can see I've got my Venom Fang that's almost maxed. I've got my Nemesis and I've got my Caesar here. Um, those are the three that I've been focusing on the most. And then I've got my others that, you know, will eventually get worked on. But for my main march, I want to focus on these three. Now, if I click on one of these and then go to the abilities here, you can see this one as a passive Regardless of whether, you know, it's in battle, his the fighter defense is raised by 20%. And then in battle, all units deal 20% more damage. So when you're when you're working on upgrading these guys, you want to look for that. Because those two, 20% defense and 20% more damage in battle, that's going to make a big difference. So I highly recommend when you're working on your beasts, you want to focus on their skills. You want to pick good skills that you think. Um, later on, I might do a video recommending certain beasts over others, um, but I have not as of yet. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make one. But focus on upgrading these specific skills that you have. Um, if you're wa wondering where you would get the, uh, the books for them, you just click on the book here. It's going to show you where. You have the chance to get them from Encounters, um, meaning, you know, when you trigger an encounter with a specific thing and you start a rally on it with your alliance, um, there is a small chance just capturing wild beasts. Skill training is an event that goes on where you can get rewards if you have, you know, enough of certain um, abilities upgraded. And then quick hunts are going to be the thing that you get three of the basic ones and one of the advanced ones per day. And then you can use your little tokens to cash it in. You can see the chances right down here. Got about a 5% chance on the advanced one. So doing enough of those will get you some as well. Um, they can, These books can also be bought from 
the store, the VIP store, you can see at VIP 8, you can get the gold ones. And down here at VIP 7, you can get those ones. And even earlier on, you can get some of the purple ones. So you can get lots of the purple ones and some of the gold ones from VIP, but at higher ones. Uh, also in the arena store, you have the opportunity to get the both the gold and the purple ones. And then also in the Alliance War store. The purple ones can also be bought in the daily store. So there's lots of different ways that you can get those. I'm just going to grab this real quick. Don't want to miss out. So lots of different ways you can get those books. Um, those will be really helpful. I highly recommend, like I said, working on those abilities. Those can turn the tide in a battle very easily. The next thing I'm going to recommend working on is going to actually be your beast's war gear. So if I come to, say, this one, you can see I've got all gold, level 35 to 40. So if I click on these, just to show, you know, fighter lethality plus 24%, fighter HP plus 21%, 24%, 21.6%. So that's almost 50% boost in HP and lethality just off of this equipment for him. I've got similar equipment for him, you know? Lethality, lethality, HP, HP. So you're getting good amounts of stat boosts if you have good war gears. Now, the way to get war gear, if you go over here, you can click the little plus and it'll show you. Campaign levels can, um, just passively generating the, um, like the exploring thing where it goes when you're AFK time, uh, that can get you some. I've only ever seen it go up to blue rarity for these um you have a chance when rallying against beast layers or you can get these little lucky war gear enhancement crates there's a few different ways of getting them um, one of the easiest is probably the arena store so you can see in the arena store you've got here you can select a gold one if you get to 13k this one allows you to select a purple one that's a really easy one another way that wasn't on that list for some reason, but Hunting Instinct. If you go here, there's this one, which is random. And if I'm not mistaken, this one allows you to pick one. So that's another way you can get them. Um, very important to get those. So I highly recommend working on that. Uh, there's a few other ways you can get those, like from different boxes and things. And then, of course, you can buy them. But I'm focusing mainly on how to do all of this free to play because i know there's a lot of people out there struggling um, who want to see ways of doing things without spending lots of money and i totally get that i'm the same way i'm trying to limit how much i spend um, but continuing on the next thing that makes a surprisingly big difference is going to be actually your equipment so you can see here this right here is giving me 27 percent for this one piece then we've got the gems which are also adding in, you know, lethality, HP, all of these as well. That's another like 20 something percent. So in reality, we're getting probably 50% from that one piece. Now, each one focuses on a different stat. So that's where you're going to be getting a lot of those bonuses from. Um, these can be earned a bunch of different ways. And then it'll actually show me where to get these i don't think it will but upgrading them it's going to take that little alloys and these my favorite way is in the chaotic mind store for those uh you can get tons of them and then just doing different events and things will also get you some so that's the third thing uh fourth thing we're going to come over here to the research institute now, this is one that I slacked on too much. If you can look, my military tech's only at 40%. So if I go here, you can see for some of these, you know, this particular one at level 5 will give me 12% boost. So if you do 12%, 12%, 12%, that adds up. And you can see it goes a ways. And it goes back this way as well. So that can add up significantly. So I highly recommend you work on your research because it can really turn the tide in the battle when you add you know 60 70 80 percent i don't know exact amount it can get up to probably over 100 at some point but you can get a lot from that 
Now, um, a bonus one that I'm throwing in there is going to be the Seraphite. So now the Seraphite, uh, just you get it a little bit later into the game. So if you're barely starting in a new world, you most likely have not unlocked this yet. Um, but to level it up, it takes this XP right here. And then to... Uh, like promote it, it's going to take this, which you can get from a few different ways. Anytime you don't know where to get something, just click on it and it will show you uh, all the different free ways as well as the packs and stuff that it can be bought in. But this is also going to help quite a lot. You can see down here, it tells me the total strength it's adding for all of that is going to come out to almost 600,000. That's a decent amount of difference that it makes in your army. 600,000 boost could definitely put you over the edge to winning. So uh, focus on that as well. And then the last thing, and this is honestly one of the most important things for sure, is going to be the tier of your troops. Now, when I say this, I mean, you can have 400% boost, but if you have all level one troops, you can see attack two, defense five, Lethality 2, HP 7. So just compare, we'll compare attack and defense. So 2 and 5. And then we go to tier 4. 5 and 8. That's a big difference. That's more than double the attack. Now we'll go to tier 7. 8 and 11. Tier 8, 9 and 12. That's more than double the, that's like 2.5 times the defense. And that's 4.5 times the attack. That's a big difference. To make up for that, you would need over 400% boost higher than your opponent. So really, you want to get these tiers turned up. So here, what you can do, you can see I have lots of zeros on these. And the reason is because you can go and take your troops. This is all I've got left. You can click the promote. And then it'll be, you'll actually be able to do more at once. You can see in eight and a half hours, I can get 777 to promote from tier 3 to tier 8. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can start turning your low tier troops into higher tier. Now, the closer the difference is, so like if I'm promoting from tier 7 to tier 8, it's going to be a lot more troops for the same time. Like I could probably do 1500 troops in 8 hours instead of 700. But just because we're going from tier 3 to tier 8, and that's 5 steps up, we're only getting 700. But that's still more than the 500 and something that I can normally train at a time. So that's one way you can get your weak troops up higher. Uh, I do recommend doing that because if you have a full march of the highest troop you can get, you're going to beat out someone easily that has a mix of high tier and low tier. Because all those low tiers are going to die so quickly to your high tier. And then everything... All the boosts go on top of that. It takes a percentage of that. So that is the foundation of it. So the higher your base stats are, the more the boosts are going to do. So hope this video was helpful. Um, remember those six things. The troops, the Seraphite, your equipment, beasts, beast equipment, and tech. I know that's a lot to focus on, but really... There was a lot more things. Those are going to be the six that are going to make the biggest difference. A lot of other things can affect it, but that's what's going to really add a lot to it. So I hope this helps. Uh, please like and subscribe. The more support that I get with these videos, the more I'm going to keep making for you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been making a whole lot right now. I've been busy with work and school, but I'm trying. Uh, so please support me in this. And I'm going to be working on making a few more videos for you since I'm a little bit caught up with school right now. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any other videos you want to see. And I will see you guys next time.